We're delighted to welcome Paul Weston, SVP Regional Head, UK at Prologis, and Andrew Wadsworth, Property Manager at DHL, as our guest panellists, who are going to be sharing their insights on how the sector has recently transformed. For, for the second time on record, um, say online sales volume broke the barrier of two billion. From our perspective, it's been fantastic what's happened uh, from an online sales perspective in lockdown. Um, you know, it's gone up to 32% uh, for the month of May, which uh, is a, an amazing figure. When you look at on a yearly figure, basically circa 20% year on year for online sales. There has been a structural change with all of us where I think we've been ordering more online. And I think this will continue this trend uh, when we do get back to a normal environment. And interestingly, visits to fashion websites have bucked that trend and have grown since the stores reopened, indicating both a halo effect to online and a reflection that customers still do not yet have the same levels of confidence in visiting physical clothing stores. We are honouring our agreements. We're getting a lot of pressure to so to obviously try to make savings where it's difficult where in these difficult times as well. But obviously we're taking the view that obviously we're in the market, we're paying, uh, we're paying these things there uh, rather than looking for any reductions or anything like that. If there are times we can look at potentially re-gearing leases or, or varying leases to, in return for some benefit to do that, that's where we've been looking to try to, um, to save money in the, in the immediate times. We've had a, a look at buildings in terms of providing a much bigger welfare offer and um, our building at Durft is one where we, we've actually trialled that and the reaction from a number of customers who, who viewed that building has been incredibly positive and that whole push for, for well-being is going to continue and I've got to say it, it's great to see others in the sector following that as well I and mean, CBREI, uh, CBREGI are doing some buildings now with, with great um, well-being features. I think Gaisley have just announced they're going down that road with welfare as well. So I can see that continuing to move. Location is, is a very big driver um, as well as the power. But also from our point of view, it, it's that flexibility as things are changing. It's being able to react to what's coming up. And sort of long leases, as we were alluding to earlier, are, do hamper our ability to react to what the businesses are requiring and going forward with potential changes in the market with who knows what's coming around the corner, uh, our ability to be able to react quickly is going to be a key driver for us. We, we suddenly saw another way starting to appear of short-term requirements that, that were on, on, on really on the back of the social distancing. So uh, a lot of the, the retailers thinking how they start to manage social distancing and still get product out. That's, we certainly have seen that and uh, more NHS related inquiries and then we, we've seen sort of Amazon really making a massive move into the market. Um, I think um, Andrea and I talked about this earlier, they've probably been about a third of all take up in, in the first half of this year which is, is, is quite something.